What's up everybody? It's Titanic Feet Jack and I'm back at you again with another video. Today we got an early review, but before we go forward with that review, need y'all to hit that like button. Also need y'all to sub up to the channel if you haven't already. And do leave a comment in the comment section letting me know your thoughts on today's video and what you think of the sneaker we're about to look at. And do hit that notification bell so you'll be notified every time I come back with another video. Now today, the sneaker we're about to look at, well, this sneaker Mike Ward doing that playoff run and it ended with him winning his third NBA title playing against Charles Barkley and those Phoenix Suns. And I was a fan of those Phoenix Suns. And now I really don't even have a favorite NBA team, but Mike wore these sneakers and he debuted them during that playoff run, which gave them their nickname. They have re released a couple of times since then, but the 2023 version are going to be just like the pair of Mike Ward doing that playoff run. You see that box, you've seen this box with several sneakers, John 7s, 8s, and probably 11s as well. The black top, Jordan and white, Air Jordan that is in white letters, white block letters, with the red Jordan Jumpman in the middle. Gonna show you that size and tag, focus. There we go. I'm gonna read it out to you. It says Air Jordan 8 Retro, and the color is black, true red, and white. And this is a size 14, represent for the Bigfoot people, baby. Size 14. Look inside the uh, top. There is no lot stamp in here. Excuse me. Gonna look inside. See that black trash bag type paper and we do not have any YCM sticker shout out to that boy Zay boy I've been taking care of me with them side 14s early so shout out to Zay and this is the box without further ado let's get into the show here we go guys we have these Air Jordan Retro 8s the playoff 8s I know 8 is not a popular silhouette, but this is an OG sneaker that Mike actually wore. So I wonder what are these are going to do when they do release in September. Yes, this is the month of April when I'm recording this video, but these release in September. So September is quite a ways away. So let's see what these do. Not sure what they're doing right now on the uh, resale market, but there are a lot of these out there on the streets, so we just gonna get into it. This sneaker is on an all black base, and you have several different types of material on it. We're gonna start with the uh, crossover straps. That's like a uh, short grain of new buck right there. Nice and smooth, you got your straps, your Velcro straps. That says Air Jordan is embossed on there. Tinker Hatfield, when he designed these, he borrowed a page from the Nike Air Raid sneakers. We used to call those the Malcolm X sneakers that released back in 1992. Yes, I do believe I have a review of a pair of these on the channel, the uh, black and gray pair. Uh, but that's where he got this idea, this concept for the Air Jordan 8 playoffs, or the Air Jordan 8 silhouette in general, I should say. But uh, yes, this that smooth new buck material. You also have a little different material right here. It's almost like a leather. Very soft that they have that here on your panels right here. And the toe box as well. It's not new buck, it's not sweet. It's like a nice soft leather. You got your hit right here with the graffiti on here. In the red, white, and black colorway. You got a midsole that's uh, made of foam material. It's made of foam material. And if you look closely, you can see they have some speckle in here, like some paint speckles in here. Kind of like that dust that you see on OG Jordan ones that let you know they're authentic. But you got a little bit of that built into the foam midsole right here, which is black. And you got a hit of that true red and blue right there, which leads to the outsole. Outsole is very colorful. It starts with a uh, gold Jordan Jumpman. You have black on here with the little holes. 
And you also have red and that uh, Concord colorway. And you have more graffiti underneath the bottom. These bright and vibrant colors kind of remind me of that outfit Jordan wore with the Jordan 7s when they were over there in Barcelona, Spain. When the Dream Team happened, he had that two-piece outfit on. I believe that uh, this is similar to that in my opinion. I believe that possibly where it came from. Looking at the back of the sneaker and just like the OG, the thing that stands out, the red pull tab. They did re-release these back in 2013, I believe, and they had a black pull tab, but the first time these have come back since the uh, season that ended with him winning his third title against the Phoenix Suns. This is the first time we we're getting them with that red pull tab. And you can see the back of the sneaker looks just like that Air Raid sneaker that I previously mentioned. And we're going to look at the medial side of the sneaker. You have more of that graffiti material hit wrapped around the ankle on a white base. But the uh, graffiti is red and black. You do have Air Jordan again embossed on that strap. And you got a hit of that soft leather up here on the ankle and your quarter panels as well as the uh, toe box again. And the majority or the rest of the sneak I should say has that black new buck colorway. Very short brand of new buck. Your foam midsole again is black and black. You got that sparkle you can see even better on the medial side of the sneaker. It's kind of like built in there, that sparkle. It's a good look with a little uh, true red at the bottom. And this a closer look at that toe box that I've been speaking of. The material is not new bucket suede. It's actually in leather. It's a different leather. Uh, I can't even remember what sneaker uh, I could compare this to as far as the leather, but uh, it's nice. Let's see if we can get inside here. It does come stuffed with tissue. If I can get to it, there you go. It does come stuffed with the tissue. As I push on it, I'm pretty sure these will be attainable. You do have a nylon tongue, comes factory lace with black laces, and that are the only laces these come with. I'm gonna loosen up the Velcro because some people may not have seen what eights look like underneath. Here you go. This is what it looks like when you take the straps off, laced all the way up to the top. You do have a Chanel uh, patch right here. It's black and you have a, a embroidered red or true red Jordan jump man. And you can see that colors. You got a low cut tongue because you can see all of this nice designs. This graffiti on the back of the tongue and inside that Harachi uh, insert, a sock line I should say. You got like an ankle support in here, just like the Harachis. Also reminds me of what you see on the outsole of this sneaker. You got a black insert, it does come out. Let's see this sneaker here. Black Jordan insert, where well, it actually says Nike Air. My apologies, you do have a size 14 size sticker on here, and you have a white, it's white underneath here. It's a little different from what we've been getting with these inserts. Normally it's black on the bottom. And gonna try to show you guys the size and tag. Focus camera. All right, there we go. I'm gonna read it to you, size 14, production date, November 30th, 2022 to Cupid's Day, 2023. Oh dear, stop production on Valentine's Day, February 14th of 2023. So, ooh, a couple months, what? December, about two and a half months of production with these. Yeah, guys. So. Let me know, will y'all be going for the Air Jordan Retro Playoff 8, guys? Let me know that in the comment section. Uh, sizing on the 8s, I do have another pair of 8s, the Rui Hashimura 8s, and they do run true to size, so 
There's no need to size up or size down. Well, size down in these, you may like your shoes very snug, so if that's your thing, you could, but my opinion, sizing is true to size on these. The Air Jordan Playoff 8, due to release September 2023. There's a lot of pairs of these already out on the street, so let me know your thoughts on today's video and the sneaker and your thoughts and expectations for this sneaker when it does release in September. And I'm going to end the video like I always tell you guys, if you can help somebody get a sneaker, help them get that sneaker because you never know when it will be your turn to need help getting the sneaker. I'm Titanic Feet Jack, signing out.